Mm, yeah. Okay, we're here, and we're looking at the Windows backup tool that's built into Windows 10, but uh, Microsoft doesn't want you to know about it. It's actually hidden in the control panel under Backup and Restore Windows 7. So you click on this guy, you can actually create a system image right from here. That's amazingly useful. So when you click on that, it's going to search for a place to back it up. So what you want to do is plug in an external drive ahead of time. If you don't have one, you can back it up to a network drive, which is what we're going to do here. All right, so you see here that it uh, detected that there is not a valid place to back up. So we're going to click on the third bubble after my frustrating mouse moves. Okay, and then we're just going to browse to a network share. So I'm just going to punch it into this nice censored field here. You can use a NAS, whatever, another computer, whatever. Just make sure that you put in some credentials so you have access to right to that place so you can back up your stuff. Mm-hmm. Click OK and uh, should be good. Yep, we're going to click next now and then start that back up. Now, I can't really attest to how long it will take because there are many different factors at play here. Your disk size, your disk type. So, you know, just go do something else and check back. You can leave it. It's fine. When it's done, it's going to ask if you want to create a system repair disk. You can say yes or no, whatever you want. But in this tutorial, we will be using a Windows installed disk just for the sake of cleaning up some drives. So now we're restarting the PC and we're going to boot from a Windows setup disk. When you're here, you select your languages and then you click next. All right, so we're gonna go to the install now. Wait for the dialog to come up. Draw all the shapes with your mouse cursor. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Hey, yeah, you can skip this if you get it. And just get to the point where you're provisioning your disks. If you're very smooth and familiar with disk part, you can use that, of course, but I'm lazy and I like a GUI, so we're going this way. All right, I'm just gonna do a nice, new, fresh, clean partition. And then you can close out a Windows setup, as I'm indicating there. So now you're gonna go back and click on Repair Computer, go to the Troubleshoot option, go to the Advanced options. Now, typically, if you're going to the same size volume, you can go to System Image Recovery but we're gonna use the command prompt in the WB admin tool to do this a different way. So we're gonna start with start slash W, WP init, which will allow network devices. And then we're gonna go WB admin, get versions and specify our backup target, which is the server share in this case. You can use a drive letter if you're using an external drive, of course. And once you punch that in there, you're going to look for your version identifier. Now it's just the date and time, so don't get it confused with the date and time of the backup. So it's this one right here usually. You can also add that to your clipboard by copying. So now we're going to go WB admin get items version. And we're going to paste in that version ID and then we're going to specify the backup target one more time which was the server slash share in this case. And there you're going to get a list of volumes that were backed up and we're only interested in the C drive. So we're going to launch this part now to see what drive letter we need to back up to or restore to. And in this case, we're looking for the D drive. So now comes the long command. We're going to start recovery. WB admin, start recovery, version, version ID that you copied before, specify your backup target, specify the item type, which is a volume, specify the items, which was the drive letter of the backup, so C in this case, and then the destination, which was D, as we found in this part. 
Hit enter on that and away it goes. And again, this will take any amount of time depending on disk size, backup size, disk type. So just go relax for a bit, come back and uh, hopefully it's done. Now, if you like this video, please subscribe, ring the bell. There'll be more to come. And thanks for watching. And most importantly, enjoy your day, guys. Okay, bye bye And before I go, WTF, did you just watch? Well, we created a system image backup through the control panel with those misleading Windows 7 parentheses. If your disk is smaller than the source, use WB Admin in a preboot environment to restore. Otherwise, you can just use the system image restore through the repair tool. And as a bonus, you may have to defrag and resize your source partition. If you've got blocks at the very end, you might have to just condense everything to make this work.